guys, Super Converser. Today I'm back for another reaction video, and I'm here to check out the new episode of Hipful, and it's the sixth episode by Team Four Star, and it's called Frog Napped. Frog Napped. I'm guessing it's related to Captain Gayu because he's a frog in in his head because it's been switched with a, a space frog from. I'm making and, and uh, I don't want to explain more than that. All I know is just it's called frog napped and why is Captain getting you uh, the frog now kidnapped and why now? Before I get started, if some of you have not seen the new Hiffle episode, well, the original video link is in the description below for you to check it out. All right, are you ready? Let's uh go. This episode is brought to you by Raycon. Stay tuned to the end of the Raycon. video to find out what Raycon has in store for you. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, these two. I think we need to ban the word boozy. <laughs> I thought you muted notifications. <laughs> Not when they oh come from God. management. I can't believe boozy is that nine, thing. Nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Mez? two, one. What's wrong? He's coming. Oh, not him. Who? Losers. Who's coming? You didn't tell the ogres, did you? They don't know nothing unless you told them. Good. Then let's settle this like. Whoa. Actually, what are your pronouns? Why does Why does Cell look look like much more uh, textured? It has more texture. It's crazy. All right. Like it's just this roughness of his skin. He's he's not in the house. What did I tell you? Now, if you want him back, oh, yeah. you need to apologize. Excuse me? Yeah, the you captain is kidnapped in this episode. Because no the title push. is called Frog uh, Map. So let's see what I find out just how indestructible you really are. You better start talking. All right, then, by all means, make me talk. What the hell is he doing? Whoa! Men have he doesn't have much of his power, but at least he has skills. Woo! Bro, this is fucking cool. Oh! Goodbye, Makum's uh, nom noms. Uh, I don't want to sing, say anything different like that. Like that. I'm not sure why that is that. Oh yeah, How are you? Jace got sure, a familiar pain does from Goku. You've got eight years of interpretive dance. However, I've got a hundred and fifty years of accumulated experience from the greatest warriors in the galaxy. Also Vegeta. Also Vegeta. <laughs> Fine. If that's how you want to play it. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> what are you doing? Goldo wasn't just checking your house, mate. He was also planting bombs. Please, you're bluffing. You blow up my house and you'll be the one stuck rebuilding it. Ah, ah, ah. We're independent contractors, which means we can take all the time in the other world. Rikum likes long lunches. All right, then. You want to make me mad? <laughs> then I'll get mad. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> he can still kill himself I mean, with the the little ankle bracelet he has on his leg. That's crazy. MAD, mutually assured destruction. You guys, I really don't want to sleep in a tent again. Just close your eyes and think of the kitten. Nothing. Uh, you know the rules. No leaving the house after curfew. But how? They could see you from our house. Wow. <laughs> Listen, mate, we're only out here because this cockroach looking cut stole the kitten. I wouldn't have had to do it if you four didn't decide to make my afterlife an unliving here. You're the one who came into our house and told us what to do with our kitten. Because your kitten kept trying to eat me. Yes, because you're a bug and Ginyu is a frog. 
That's no way for a mental health professional to speak about a trauma victim. Nine oh minions has God. literally a frog soul in his body. <coughs> Called it! <laughs> you knew. How long have you known? <laughs> Called that new. This is one of the worst rap sheets I've seen in my life. The murder, the pillaging, <laughs> and the jockstrap incident. Oh, oh. Ribbit. Oh you my God. You disgust me. Unfortunately, you just clog the soul scrubber. But we've got ways of dealing with scum like you. Shortly oh. after, they learned it was unclerical error. But by the time we got severed, we've seen a marked improvement in your demeanors. Also, nobody in management wanted to take responsibility. So that means okay. the real Catton is still kicking out there. Recoom is a um, <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> like he got crushed by Vichita. Our Catton ain't the Catton. Uh, uh, oh, he's just a fraud. A frog fraud. A uh, fraud. Yes. They're the same. We don't really need him back then, right? Bullshit! Huh? That bug eye too aren't leaping purple people leader may not be the man who taught us how to pose or made us do kegels till we puked, but he's uh, still part of the team. Goldo, oh, I'm wow. talking. You're listening. I accepted Damn, it. Damn, Goldo. You did, because you were just too scared to lose the cat. But I wasn't. I made peace with that, and I made friends with him. He's my friend, just like all of you guys are my friend. Oh, Galdo, you had us at Kegels. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. We all sort of knew, deep down inside. So they knew. Cool just didn't want right. to admit it. But he is part of the team now. He may not be the kitten, but he is a Ginyu. My God, Man. Yeah, mess. Respect for the Kenya Force. Moment. And so I was just, so I was just watching. Hey, what are you? Trying not to ruin the moment. Guru, let him out. You are a He did know. Oh, fuck! No! Jesus, no! Oh god, that was gross! Ah, we're so sorry, boy. So he did kid. He did frog nabbed him. That was gross. Oh no. Frog can you is traumatized. Oh dude, we can't make actual bombs, okay? That was a bluff. That's that's actually good, huh? Mine was as well. Guess we're not too different, huh? I I'm sorry I stole your not, Captain. And we're sorry about the chair, the couch, the paint, the glitter, and the mouse traps. And my trash bin. We didn't do anything to your trash bin. Oh, that little bitch. <laughs> all right, everyone. This was a very sincere moment, and we're all very proud of your growth. Hey, everything worked out. Get back inside immediately. Okay. We will literally bury you six feet in the ground. We have a long day tomorrow, and a very special visitor. Ugh, don't remind me. Who, who is coming? What what that's about. What's what about? Oh, there you are. Reddit. Where do you sneak off to? Eh, nowhere special. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't here for all of that <laughs> really because i think you're hiding something okay i was off banging didoria <sighs> fine be that way what's a secret between friends so we are friends we is are that a secret or we just mm. be sarcastic yes. ah, come on. i'll just leave you at sarcastic for now okay what is frieza planning or sleeping Get the door. Who is that at the door? Uh, Who is that at the door? Will you keep it down, you noisy mother. Father? Good morning, princess. No way! Keep going! 
Cold. Bro, they bring King Cold into this show. Let's go, bro. Let's go. I told you, you pious stooge. I am no frog. I am Captain Ginyu. Oh, uh, it's the real you, Captain Ginyu. Is he trying to talk to me? Do we have a translator? Man, I have to the badger cats. No, nah, whatever. Just put him through the soul scrubber. I'm taking my lunch. <laughs> Mr. Bunt, <laughs> Timothy Bunt. Wow, actually, this might be my favorite episode of Hiffle. I know there were other episodes that might be better than this one, but for me, this one has much more, like, how do I say, a closure for what terms they're trying to accept that that is not their captain. They're accepting him as a friend. Like, it's just they accepted to move on from the Ginyu Force into becoming their own kind of batch of friends where they just except who the new Captain Ginyu was, and he's a frog now. And what's gross is that, that he managed, that Cell managed to put Captain Ginyu inside Guru. Bro, that was gross. That was fucking gross. <laughs> like, Jesus, the way it was sounding, the way it was presented, it was disgusting. <laughs> but God damn it, they really just, they saw to push it that far. That's crazy. And also, King Cold is joining, bro. <laughs> bro, we're gonna have like a father's son dynamic between Frieza and King Cold. It's crazy. Like, I don't know. I am looking forward for more. And this is my this is might be my favorite episode. It's like, let me know if one of your favorite episodes. But for me, this is might might be my favorite episode. Like, it just really brings some humor and just bringing the characters that were villains from a bridge but now in Hiffle they're just characters who just uh, trying to get past their old, their old uh, dark, uh, wicked ways into just becoming neighbors and friends in the cul-de-sac of Hiffle. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I cannot wait for more Hiffle. It's long to just get through by but at the end of the day, once it releases, maybe a month or two, it, it just felt like it's worth it. Alright everyone, that's all I have to say in this reaction video. If you want me to check out the next episode of Hiffle coming out uh, soon, uh, or maybe a month, well, make sure you give this video a like and a comment for the support. Subscribe with all post notifications on, so you don't miss any new videos coming up in my channel. Thanks for watching, come back next time, and see you later.